Okay, welcome back with Chelsea and Luz. It's been a while because there were a lot of issues along the way getting here, but now we're good. So we're moving on and we're giving you the taste test that I promised a long time ago. I don't even remember what vlog it was in. Am I even in the vlog? Let me see, is there space for me? Yeah, if I'm right next to your face, I should be in the vlog. Then go huh? Then go closer. <laughs> no, it's okay. She's breaking her neck. We're gonna give you the taste test of this bubblegum flavored Jello. Not actually Jello because that's not the brand. The brand is Tony 1978. So hopefully that means it's good because if you've been in existence for what? How many years? Like four plus decades, then you should be doing a good job at what you're making. So let's show them. Maybe they didn't show them. Oh. The outside. Let me see. I need to focus in on it. Can I zoom in live? Yes, like, <laughs> I zoomed into your face. <laughs> okay, wait, let me hold it. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, this is what it says. Is it expired? Expired. Oh, May 26th. Do you want to take the risk? I feel like it's fine. It's been in the refrigerator for a long time. Currently, it's July something. It's still early July. I think it would be fine if we had this. July 6th. I know. It's okay, I think. We're only going to have a little bite. If it tastes horrible, then we're throwing it out. And hopefully it doesn't have mold on it. But you eat it first. Okay, I'll try it first. Gelatoni chicle. Chicle means gum in English. And that's in the language Spanish, in case you're wondering. We're gonna try it out and it's actually vegan. I was so surprised when I read the ingredients because I was skeptical. I saw this little label, it says origen vegetal, which means vegetable origin. And I was like, hmm, interesting. So then I read the ingredients and it's vegan. So we're gonna taste test. I've never seen a bubblegum flavored gelatin dessert before. So let's see. Oh, it has a little scooper. It comes in two pieces, so you can build a spoon yeah, that and so eat with it. Cool. I've never seen like that. That's cute. I'm gonna glue my teeth. While she's doing that, I'm gonna open it and inspect to see if we can even have this. If it's edible. Hopefully it is. Oh my gosh, as soon as I opened it, I smelled the bubble gum. Seems like there's nothing in here. Thankfully. It's quite clear. What do you do? Look at it. Oh. Translucent. Oh my god, look. She built it. Build it. She built so it right now. Like, Please like, don't break it. You can do it like this. Wow, that's and cute. Like this. It's like those transportable spoons and utensils that you find nowadays that are usually eco-friendly. Except this isn't very eco-friendly. You ate the camera? Yeah. You ate my subscribers? Yeah. How dare you. Vomit them up. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> like it Jonah and the whale. Huh? It looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. We're gonna take the risk. And it smells fine. It smells, it smells fine to me. Good. Right? It smells, smells good. Like True. Minuta no, is we shaved just ice. Had. We had. We had. We had. Wow. Smell it. Oh. It smells good. <laughs> Jesse's, so oh wow. Yeah. Always gets me. Oh wow. It smells really good. And strong. Okay, go ahead. Chelsea's first. gonna take. Oh. Okay. I said you first. True, she did say me first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm scared, Jess. Oh yeah, we have to explain the jaw inside joke. It started like years ago when we saw this like meme YouTube video on Gaston, right? Yeah, yeah Gaston. It was like one of those clips where it's like, it repeats every time he says egg or barge or something in the movie Beauty and the Beast, is it? Yeah, right? Yeah. And then we were like, he has such a barge jaw, right? So then we started saying jaw like weirdly, like jia. So now <laughs> we use it as an adjective. We're like, 
Sad. I'm sad jaw. Like Wait, is that an adjective? I don't know. I don't it's know any English. Yeah. I'm kidding, I do. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know what the correct grammar mechanism or... You're gonna drop the like, I know what the correct grammar tool is, but, like, we say, I'm mad jaw, or that's huge jaw. So, whatever that is, you can comment that below if you're an English master. Okay, I'm trying it. <laughs> on the floor. Hmm. It tastes exactly how it smells like. Which is good. Yes, it tastes like you're eating bubble gum in jello form. Actually. And like a true bubble gum Ew, flavor. Because you know hard. those cheap bubble gums that you used to buy when you were a child at the store? And the flavor would be gone in five seconds. We're talking about the high quality bubble gum that you could rarely get when you went to the store. This is what it tastes like. In my opinion. What about you? Also? Yeah. Okay, let's it's give okay. it... It's okay. Yeah, it's not like mind-blowingly good. I wouldn't buy it again. It's just something that I bought to try out because it was fun. And I thought that Chelsea would like it. But it's good. Like, if you want to try it out for fun too, I would recommend. Like, it's something that little kids would probably like more. I thought you were saying I was huh? No, 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 no. I was saying quite the contrary, that Chelsea isn't so small anymore. So she's like, it's okay. You know, it's not, like, mind-blowing. But a little kid would probably be like, oh my gosh, this tastes exactly like bubblegum, my favorite flavor. So, thumbs up, and let's give it a number rate. Out of ten. For what it is. For what it is. Like, not... Oh. In terms of what you like in general. Oh, and then a six. A six? For what I expected, I give it a... Yeah, use your microphone. Mm -hmm. I give it a... <clears throat> eight out of ten. Um, and I it's give a it a six. I don't know if they can even hear me because I've been talking like... Yeah, probably. Speak louder. I give it a six out of ten. No, six. I said five. No, no, I said six. Okay, yeah, six out, six. Of ten. six out of ten. Eight out of ten for an average of seven out of ten. Thanks for tuning in to our food review, and we'll see you in the future for another food review or drink review, if we ever do that. Thank you for participating. Bye. Bye.